I was so young in this photo. If only I had known what was in store for me. I would have said, even though you're from a tiny community on the Cape Flats of South Africa, being an African girl doesn't disqualify you from anything. You come from humble beginnings, a blank canvas. But I'm here to tell you that you are an exceptional young girl with an imagination that touches the stars. I know that behind your contagious laughter, you're afraid. Afraid that the dreams that keep you up at night will not be realized and that you will never escape these cycles of poverty and violence that seep into your soul. I know that the only thing stitching all the pieces of you together is the belief that you will get out. You don't know it yet, but you will go far. And I'm just so, so proud of you. This house you grew up in, a shack in the backyard of someone else's home. This room, these walls, they have a story to tell. I know you get sad looking at the harsh conditions you see around you, especially how your sisters, aunties and mothers battle every day to survive. But these experiences will soon be the reason you wake up in the morning. The reason you fight as hard as you do. You don't know it yet, but you will become an attorney working in the highest court of our land. I was 18 when I went to the University of the Western Cape and I did my first law degree. Became a lawyer and then I went to the Constitutional Court. And then after that, I was appointed the youngest cabinet committee secretary that was allowed to sit in the meetings of the presidents and the minister. You will lead seminars and teach women to be a driving force in this democracy. The fact that I've worked in government meant that I saw what kind of decisions the government took and what impact their decisions would have on people like us. That's my job, to tell you the truth about the Constitution, to tell you the truth about democracy and how you can influence the way democracy evolves in South Africa. You will not speak for them, but you will amplify their voices when they can't, teaching them the value of the vote and how to use their power. So I know that where I am now is exactly what I'm supposed to do. And that is opening up the minds of brilliant young women like yourself. And I mean, you as the leaders, the young women leaders, women lead movement. You will start the women lead movement and be an internationally recognized activist that will drive the global fight for equality and this movement will elevate the voices of women in your community and around the world. The movement is not a selfish movement. It's a woman-led movement. I'm going to expect you to go back home, use the information and educate your mom. We are born from the work of our mothers. I know you look into your mother's eyes and you see pain. But more so, you see her fierceness. This part is always in front of the shack. So the shack was the place, the place to be on the road, the place to be. This one, I really love this one. Goodness, yeah, this, this is so great. Taste. This is amazing. This is your great taste. And I got yeah, my master's live, and then the phone that came, mm. came along. Were you proud that day? Super. You always proud. Yeah. <laughs> Never so proud. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, for me to have sort of. 
like her, you will be fierce in fighting for their rights, for their dignity. You will fight because you believe that gender equality and justice must be achieved for both men and women alike. You will be on the front lines. Okay, so today we're going to discuss something a little, not really that different from human rights because the issue of gender is also an issue of human rights, okay? But the power balance is just totally skewed and we need to rectify the balance. And I'm very happy that there's men in this room today that needs to hear all these things. Know that you will have to work harder than men to be recognized. You will have to work harder than women in other parts of the world to be seen as significant. Always remember that tough times don't last, but tough people do. You are a warrior who will emerge greater every time. I promise. You will often feel as if you don't fit in, but it was never your destiny to fit in. You were born to stand out. You will buy a house and support your family and you will help other women do that for themselves too. You will send a message to world leaders saying that none of us are equal until all of us are equal. So keep your chin up and your heart strong because the revolution has just begun. Yours in power, Melina Rousseau.